Today I'd like to show you how to configure your assembler space, including adding tools, security, appearance, notifications, backing up, and inviting team members. Most configuration is done under the Admin tab, which shows up if your access level is set to Owner. You can choose from over 20 tools to customize your workspace. Normally, you'd want ticketing for issue tracking and release planning, a code repository like Subversion or Git, most of the collaboration and most of the management tools, and when your project is ready, at least one of the build and deploy tools. If you're not sure about a tool, feel free to install it, watch the video about it, play with it, and then decide whether you want it. Tools are easy to add and remove. By default, private project workspaces have non-member access set to none. If this is changed to view, your private project becomes public, and anyone that comes across the space URL will be able to see your project information. Press more if you want to override the default space permissions for each tool. View means they'll be able to view, but not edit information. Edit allows them to do just that, edit information within the tool. And all provides full access to a tool, including changing tool settings. You can limit access to your space to specific IP addresses. Don't worry about locking yourself out if you forget to enter your own IP address. As space owner, you're sent directly to the admin security screen to fix things. Click on Appearance to change the name of your space and rearrange the order that tabs appear by dragging and dropping. You can specify a default landing page. Typically, this would be the tool that is most frequently used, so team members land on the tool and can get to work. If you're familiar with CSS, you can also change the overall style of your space. If you don't like the new look, it's easy to change back. Here I've specified a custom logo file. Two of my favorite things about assembly spaces are the activity stream and email alerts. When you're logged in, the activity stream lets you see what's going on without having to ask. New and updated tickets, code commits, stand-up reports, and so on. Activity reports can also be sent directly to your team members, and email alerts lets you set the default for how often and what type of messages new team members will receive. Each user can later change their personal settings from email notifications under the Stream tab. The last section of the Admin tab is Resources and Backup. Daily backups can be made to your Amazon S3 account. Just enter your credentials and indicate whether you want Assembler to clean up backups older than so many days old. The Manual Backup function creates a file in JSON format of everything in your space except for repositories, which have their own backup restore methods. Once you've got your basic infrastructure in place, it's time to invite team members. You can search for existing Assembler users or enter email addresses of users to invite. Promote or demote team members using the green arrows, and if you want, click in the Label column to enter a label. I hope this gives you an idea of how assembly spaces can be configured to work the way you and your team like to work. Thanks for watching.